So welcome back friends. I have got an exciting video for you guys today. Today, you're, and you're gonna help me, we're gonna be working on the command center for the adventure van, for the 2017 Ford Transit van that we are doing a conversion into. Vans are so popular right now. You start, well, I've been talking to some of the conversion guys around here and there's a bunch of them because it kind of started right, all, all, you know, really kind of started uh, in this area. Uh, they're eight months to a year out. So a lot of guys are doing their own conversions because a full-blown conversion van, you know, rigged out, I mean, they're starting at $150,000, $60,000. Who's got that type of money? So a lot of the stuff you can do for yourself, do yourself for a fraction. So what we have here is the master control unit for the uh, Comfort Hot, the Rickson Enterprises uh, S-Bar hot water furnace. This is really cool. I got it running. Uh, thanks to the guys at Rickson, and once we get this installed, I'll show you. It's amazing. It really is amazing. We've got our um, lithium batteries. I've got that all hooked up. The magnum inverters all hooked up. So all of this is the master control panel to run all that stuff. So let's uh, let me bring you up close. I'll show you what each different thing is, and then we'll go over and put it in the van. We'll hook it up, and then uh, you you have to see the uh, the uh, the S bar burn. So just a quick overview of what we have laid out here. So starting at the top left here, this is the remote display for the Magnum inverter charger. So this will control the inverter. An inverter is how, well, you, how you uh, change uh, your 12 volt into 110. The inverter also acts as a charge controller, so it will charge the lithium batteries as well as managing uh, any solar power that we'll be adding in the future, and that's all done right up here uh, remotely. Now here to the right, this is the master control for the Comfort Hot. This is the uh, Rickson Enterprises system uh, that heats the hot water, unlimited hot water, and is a furnace that runs off the vehicle's existing fuel system. So what we have here is this is a master on, and then this will arm the furnace, and then we have two-speed fan uh, for heat, and then this is for the hot water, for the unlimited hot water, which I don't have hooked up yet, but these three I do. Whoops, sorry. Uh, now down here we have, this is also part of the Rickson system. This is actually the T-stat or the thermostat. So you can also turn off, turn on the thermostat up and down, and that will control your temperature. This piece right here is also part of the Comfort Hot. It doesn't do anything other than it overrides um, a code lockout, if I understand it correctly. So if the, for some reason you try to start the furnace too many times, it will shut itself down. And if you don't have this, uh, then you have to like go into those guys and have them unlock it. So this is a safety measure uh, I, for there. So I just, I, I obligate, or decided to go with that, you know, just in case I didn't have any problems. And then finally, this is the Victron battery monitor. So this is going to tell me how much we're charging. This is basically going to be telling me the condition of the lithium battery um, and all of that readout there. So that's pretty much everything that we're going to have. So let's go put it in the van. I'll show you where it's going to go. And it, it really turned out nice. Okay, so where we're at in the van here, you can probably tell, thank goodness for wide angle lenses. Uh, we are behind the driver's seat about uh, midway uh, back to the van. And what I've done is I'm building a bo these body panels out of a veneered quarter inch plywood. It's very, uh, is that quarter? Quarter eighth. I think it's quarter. Yeah, quarter inch plywood. It's very light, uh, but still reasonably strong. And then we'll cover this with upholstery and fabric. Actually, we'll cover it. We'll put a, a very thin layer of foam. Uh, and then the fabric. If, sometimes guys don't do that, and it gives it a it gives it an elegance because when you touch it, it just that little bit of give that softness is nice. Plus additional sound dampening, a little bit of insulation value. It, it's really really cool. Uh, so uh, all of the interior panels. So I this took some doing here, but I have got it all laid out here to fit around. Let's see if I can get in here. Help put these wires in. This is wait till you see this run. It's really cool. Really cool. Uh, so this should fit very snugly. All right, look at that. That's nice, right? Okay. So this will uh, now this will bolt to the to the body, and it will be upholstered. So now we have our master control here. This is right above. So the bed stops right here. This is going to be right above where we'll have Mrs. W will have her little sink. So we'll have hot and hot and cold running water. The beautiful thing about the S bar system or the Comfort Hot excuse me, is it's unlimited water, hot water, uh, up to a gallon a minute. 
It's incredible. So uh, it'll be really nice. So I, as you're standing at the sink right here, just to your left, you're going to have access to all of these things. Not that you should have to, but it's in the middle of the van, and that way she can we can change the temperature and, and the thermostat. A quick glance to see what's going on, make sure everything's charging and all of that. So that uh, is the setup right there. All the connections that I'm doing in here now are, are going to be solder jointed. Um, a couple reasons for that. Uh, it's a yeah, I know it's a pain. Uh, but it is really good. You know, once you get something soldered, you don't have to worry about it. I, I'd like to use the, the crimp connectors, but there's two problems. You know, one off, it's that that's a confusing world. I mean, what you get into, I mean, you get into crimper crimping and different fittings. Uh, I mean, there are so many different crimpers and so many different connectors. You know, I just kind of tuned out. It was just so darn confusing. Um, and not to mention, you've got uh, wires of different sizes being hooked together. You know, some of this tiny electronic stuff, you know, will go into a fat wire. And so if you use like a barrel connector that um, fits the larger wire, it often doesn't, is too small for the other one and on and on. And I'm sure there's a solution, but I just don't have time to research it and to get all that stuff. And so soldering with shrink tape is good for, is, is going to be good for me. And I'll, I'll know that, uh, I'll know that it it's not gonna not gonna have any problems there. All right, cool. One thing I bought I never have owned one uh, was a heat gun. I, I showed this in previous videos, but <clears throat> the heat gun is is so fabulous for the shrink tape. Shrink tape, if you don't know, if you haven't done a lot of electrical stuff, it's a it's a tubing. It kind of looks like a straw. There's a piece right there. It comes in different sizes. And uh, what it does is, is it, uh, when you put heat on it, it uh, shrinks. Because we've got, now we've got these exposed wires, right, that we just soldered. And so um, what, what, what you do there is you put your, I put our shrink tape on there. And that's going to protect those guys. And it'll tighten up around there. And that won't, you don't have to worry about it coming in contact with metal or anything. And then we'll put everything, of course, inside shielding. But... Um, this is pretty cool, but the heat gun's nicer because it doesn't burn them. Um, you can use a torch or a lighter. I've used that in the past, but really, if you're not really careful, they they'll burn, and you can catch stuff on fire. You know, like if I was using a torch, I'd probably right here. I'd have a you have to be careful not to destroy that circuit board. But the heat gun, the heat gun works real good for this. So if I arm the system, yep, we got power. So it looks like everything is hooked up right. Now all these wires and everything, this will all be, they'll be um, in a, put in a loom and done up correctly. It's just as I, all this stuff, you know, I gotta leave it kind of temporary uh, until I get the wiring run. Then we'll, then we'll do the final wiring and then the uh, insulation. We're gonna be insulating with wool. Um, that's something I'm looking forward to sharing you. It's a really cool stuff, all natural. Don't have to worry about fiberglass and stuff floating around and getting in people's lungs and Look at that, that's pretty nice, huh? That's clean, is it still gonna work? Okay, good. Furnace. All right, so the Magnum's not hooked up yet. Uh, the Victron is not gonna be hooked up yet. I'm waiting for some wiring. I ordered all of the, everything I'm doing is the best I can, what I would consider to be uh, marine grade, um, not RV grade, which is um, usually the worst grade. Uh, so I'm, I've got marine wire coming and then we'll hook everything up. But we'll be able to show, the, I'll show you the, the S-Bar, the little mini, like it's like a little jet heater underneath there, a little jet jet engine. Uh, let me let me tack this up here, and then uh, we'll go through the system startup. So I'm gonna mount this panel really quick, and you know these things that you put up temporarily typically uh, become permanent. So I don't want it rattling around. So I'm using these little, these little stainless steel uh, screws uh, with upholstery washers. One little trick. So we're I'm drilling eighth inch holes through the. This is there's two thicknesses here of the wall. There's the exterior and then the interior. Now you one slip. You go through too far as your drill bit kicks through, you put a dimple or even drill a hole in the outside of the vehicle, that's really bad. So what you can do to, to prevent that is a stop. And I use a piece of PEX pipe. Uh, just have that stick out there, you know, half inch or so, well within your reach. And now when I go up here, I've marked all of these to drill. There we go. As you see right there, that PEX pipe won't allow it to, to go through and damage the uh, the body. And then we can just put the screws in here. And these will finish really nicely 
with the upholstery. So the panel's mounted, we're ready to fire up the S-bar. Just one thing quickly, I'll show you. You know, always you've got to consider uh, how you're going to trim and how you're going to finish things, right? So, uh, what, you know, when it make, it's, that's why it takes, the, the doing, doing this stuff doesn't take all that long. It takes 10 times as long sitting around scratching your head trying to figure out how you can do something without a, it's not going to be, there's not going to be a conflict. Okay, so there's going to be a, a, an upholstered headliner. Uh, of course, the roof and everything will be insulated, and this will come down like this, it's a bug on me. Uh, the headliner will come down like this and then tie in here. So we wanted to make sure that I uh, had all of these set just like that. So that will be nice and clean. They'll be mounted behind the fabric, same fabric we use for the bed. Uh, now let's go down underneath and let's fire this thing up. I'm gonna switch you guys over to the phone because it's a little easier to pack around. So a quick recap. So we've got the, uh, the starter battery underneath the driver's seat. Now I mounted the 200 amp hour lithium underneath the passenger seat and everything some of this is temporary here but everything I, I was able to keep down underneath here so the cool thing about it is i've got a marine grade uh, of course these wires will all be loomed there's again don't don't hate on me it's not going to be kept this way uh, this is a marine switch with a master override so i can click this here right that and kill the batteries 100 percent. so there won't be any drain no vampires or anything like that to arm it push this here push it in, reset it. Now also I put a relay in here uh, and this relay, what it will do is this will determine whether I'm gonna be charging the batteries or not. So I've got a switch underneath here that I can reach from the driver's seat. Hit that, that lights up. That tells me now the battery is charging uh, from the engine if I want to right there on that relay. Take it off, disconnect, it's isolated. Also, if this battery goes dead, then simply by pressing this switch here, and arming it, now I can start off of the big lithium battery. This is really cool. This will be mounted here too. This is uh, the kind of the management system. This will not allow the lithium battery to um, dis overcharge or discharge. It will actually blow this disconnect once it reach reaches certain parameters that we set in there. So you can see there's four cells in this. This is really cool. So it's telling me right there that we've got 13.19 volts and then the spread between the four different cells is 13 millivolts. So that really gives us a condition of the battery. We know exactly what's going on. Um, super cool, very, very, it's a safety mechanism so we don't, don't tear it up. Over here now we've got, of course, the S-bar and this will be all behind the sink cabinet. So it won't be seen, it'll quiet it down a lot, a little bit. And then of course we've got the magnum energy. This is a, a pure sine wave inverter charger so what we'll do is and then this <laughs> there's so much here it'll uh i'll explain it more in detail in a future video but here is the this is the breaker box that comes in for the shore power so we can heat three ways we can heat uh, plugging into shore power that i give us furnace and hot water we can heat from the engine running we can heat from the s-bar which we're going to go underneath and see there's the heat exchanger and of course you know the temporary wiring right there just to give you an idea and then up above it the panel we just put in okay so let's Let's do this. So the start sequence, and focus, the start sequence here, uh, we'll turn on the furnace, that's the master switch right there, and that boots up the thermostat. We can turn the furnace on right there, and that should boot up. Five second delay on that. Uh, this is the fan speed. We have a low and a high right there so we can control that this one here we'll, we won't we'll be using it right now but this is going to circulate the water so for example let's say it's 100 degrees and you're down in moab and you don't you want hot water but you don't want the furnace running you can turn off the furnace turn on the hot water and then the, the s bar uh, will actually heat your hot water without the furnace independently so very cool this here is super slick so we have right here we've got our this is our ambient and this is our furnace setting so i've got it set up to 98 there you just touch it down and whatever you set this at, that uh, the comfort hot is going to keep the van at that exact temperature. So the cool thing about this is that this ties into the factory fuel system. There's no propane, uh, there's no nonsense, there's not, no bottles to change. You simply, it simply sips out of the tank and it's super efficient. I've been told that this furnace can run in cold weather uh, 24 hours on about a gallon of fuel. So 
you know, imagine that you go skiing and, and you've got your, it's 18 degrees and you got your van parked in the parking lot. You set this to a nice comfortable 70 degrees, whatever you want. You come back, no ice, no snow, no mess. Okay, so we're underneath the van. This is the S-Bar furnace right there. You could, it was hot. You can see that it's got a, a black is the cold air intake. The, the, the metal part is the exhaust and there's a little muffler and then the exhaust pipe just dumps out right there underneath of the body. So this uh, is hooked to, this is a little fuel pump right here. And this guy, let's be clamped there. This guy uh, pulls fuel out of the tank and feeds the S-bar. And that in turn heats the water, uh, which blows across the heater core and heats the van. Now we can hear the furnace spooling up. How cool is that? And now the furnace is running at full speed. You can see it's going to keep going up until it you know, reaches the temperature we want and then it'll shut itself off. And then we've got the fan speed. We can turn the fan on. And the fan, just like your vehicle, is now running hot. Is running, it's just running hot water through that core, blowing it forward. So that will heat the whole van up. Once this is all insulated, you can feel the heat coming off there. Once this is all insulated, uh, it's not going to take anything to heat this. It's just going to be, be cozy as a bug in a rug in here. I'll go ahead and shut this down. I don't need a furnace on when it's 84 degrees outside. All right, that's it. So I don't have, uh, I, I can't do too much more today because I, I, I don't have the wiring. I kind of needed to, I couldn't get my head around this whole system. And a very, very special thanks to um, um, the Rickson family uh, who built this system in Sandy, Oregon. Uh, Comfort Hot. I'll put a link to their website uh, down below. But if you want the vet, you want the very best um, furnace hot water system on the market, um, this is it, without a doubt. It's it's really really cool. And special thanks to those guys for helping me out because I was uh, I was a little bit confused on that. I understand it now. What I think we might do, we talked about it, is it's hard to get a, a sense, an idea of what the, how to hook all this together the way I've jumped around with the videos. So what we could do is next time I go out there um, is we could lay the whole system out. They've got a whole system kind of on a piece of plywood there and we can look and see how it goes. So that would be really helpful. So if you decide you want to add this, you could add this to anything. You can add it to your van, to a truck, to an RV. Uh, they use these systems in marine. They use these systems in heavy equipment in cold climates. And they've been around a long time. And I be even believe the S-bars come is a factory option with the Mercedes Sprinters. So um, it's just the Ricksons ha have built the hot water side of it um, and packaged this really slick deal. So uh, that's it. So thanks guys, and we'll see you on the next video.